Oh no, bro, they just responded to my email and said that our Instagram account has been suspended forever. Bro Mark Zuckerberg really has something against us. Why would he ban us for impersonating ourselves? Nah, if he was near me, I would punch the lights out of him. How can we impersonate us? Freedom of speech isn't a thing anymore, huh? Freedom of speech hasn't been a thing ever since you became the President Joe. So nothing new here. We appealed our ban on Instagram for the third time already. This is a dead end. It doesn't even matter anymore. But don't think that Mark is going to get away with it this easily. Brody is about to pay for what he has done to us. Really? How so? That lizard moves with more security than us. Touching him is harder than getting Joe to confess that he likes to sniff kids. He knows a lot of people are after him. Zuck isn't that stupid. What did you say? It isn't that hard if you are the security. Trust me, boys, I have connections everywhere. That idiot right now is holding some speech about the new updates of his platforms, and he called one of the top FBI-affiliated security groups so he could escort him to a meeting he will hold with some Chinese investors. What he doesn't know is that we are the ones who are going to escort him. Now come on, close that stupid laptop and get in the car. We need to meet with that security group and talk out the plan and how we will put it in action. You didn't have to shoot my laptop, you idiot, bro. How do you always have people that know people who know people that can help us? Anyways, Mark got to pay for what he has done to us. Now, how will we talk to the people that support us if we no longer have access to our Instagram account? I don't like using Twitter since Elon owns it and he's biased. We're, we're really left with one other choice and that is Discord. Maybe it will be wise of us to make a Discord server where people can give us ideas on who we should assassinate next or on what should we do when we're bored and then film it and post it somewhere. You know, that would be crazy. Funny you say that, Barack, because I actually opened our POTUS Discord server. I'll try to tell everybody about it. There we will post selfies and sneak peeks of what we're gonna do next and we will have people give us ideas on what should we do exactly as you mentioned. It's a great way to keep in touch with the people who support us, where they can also ask us any questions directly. We should tell them from now on to join the server. Now act presentable. This is Jack, the head of this security organization. Hi Jack, long time no see, how are you doing? Good to see you Mr. Trump, long time no see indeed. It's been a while ever since you asked for my help when you first got indicted. Anyways, you know that I'm a person that likes to get straight to the point. Have you made the first transfer so we can start talking about the details of this plan? My assistant should have already made the payment. I'm sure that if I call her, I can give you a proof of payment to the bank in Switzerland, as you mentioned, so our government can't see the transaction. No need to waste our time doing that right now. I trust you that you did the right thing. Okay, so moving forward, Mr. Zuckerberg has already started his speech, and in about one hour and 37 minutes from now on, it is estimated that he will finish it. By then, we should already be there waiting for him. You, Joe, and Obama will ride in the SUV. That will be the car that will host Mr. Mark. I will give you three suits that will cover your faces, since he asked us to have at least two military-trained professionals escorting him. You three will be the ones in the cause. You will go on stage and then bring him back to the car. Afterward, you can take him wherever you want. But for now, let's have you three dress up and get in the cars. It's getting late and we can talk further on the radio. We are ready to roll. Follow me and try your best to stay behind. We will most likely cut some traffic and pass some red lights. When we get there, try to stay in your cars. We'll escort him by our own. All right, understood. So have you thought about the location you will get him to after we have him in our possession? I was thinking somewhere outside the city far from civilization. This lizard is tracked by the police most likely. So either way, if he presses some stress signal, they are going to turn up in a matter of minutes. So we need to move fast. Time is critical in this kind of operations. I know a location. Let's get him to the dam. It will be hard for the police to to get there and we'll have plenty of time to get him to do what we want or to kill him. Uh, yeah, I guess that isn't a bad idea, but what has he even done to you guys in the first place that you want him so badly to be assassinated? Long story short, he closed our Instagram account for no reason. He doesn't allow free speech, the authority has got to his head, and we need to take it out of there using a bullet. Oh, well that makes sense, I guess. All right, we're here, let's park them right by the exit so we don't draw too much attention. As planned, we will go on the stage and talk to the event security to let the lizard know that we arrived. When we come back, we will escort him with our rifles in our hands. So if you see us with the guns, don't get alarmed. And again, you guys stay in your cars in case anybody comes and asks what is happening. Tell them that Mark Zuckerberg's special security has arrived and is here to get him safely to his meeting. Don't give too much information away. If they start asking too many questions, tell them to beat it before they get beat. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Wait, Donald, let's stay away from the crowd. If they see us masked, they might get scared and call for the police or some shit. Let's stay out of trouble before we get him with us. Come on, bro. Listen to me for once. 
You don't want to make the people ask too many questions. They all gathered to watch a lizard talk. Do you think they will get scared at having three masked, blacked out individuals walking in the crowd, but not scared at the guy who's talking? I just want to check the surroundings a little bit Biden before we get to the stage. We are professionals, but I don't think he has any snipers. I saw some cops back there and some bodyguards. But other than that, I think we will be able to kill him even here. But let's stick to the plan. Listen, buddy, we just announced on the radio that his escorting security has arrived. What else do you want from me? Stand by the door and leave me alone. You're acting weird with that mask on your face. Don't think that if I can't see it, you're somehow tough now. Only if you knew who you're talking to. All right, buddy, I'll leave you alone. Come on, boys, we have to wait here until he finishes his last lines, dang it. I want to pull out my pistol right now and turn this shit into a circus so bad. Psst, here he comes. Act normal. Um, hello, Mr. Zuckerberg. Please follow me. Your security is outside. I'll drive you to the vehicle. I hate these people. Hi, guys. I see that my request for military personnel to escort me has been granted. Good to know that I'm in good hands from now on. There are some weird people around this city. I need you guys to fully protect me and be on the lookout the whole time you are with me. That's what we do. Let us worry about it. You just sit back and relax. We're in control from now on. Now, please follow me to the car. 320 subject is with us. Get ready to leave. He's going to sit on the right back seat. Over. All right, uh, please take a seat in the back of this SUV right here. Let me go ahead and open the door for you. No need to do that, thank you. I got it. Don't worry, you guys know the location where I need to be, right? It will take some time for you to drive me to Chinatown, so let's hurry up a little. Yeah, don't worry, we will get there in no time. Come on, ah, guys, get inside. Who's this guy here? We have an intruder. Get your ass out of the car. Hey, what is wrong with your boy? Are you insane? Get your dirty ass out. Nah, that's it, you guys are fired. Joe, you idiot, that is our target. I mean, that is Mark. You piece of shit, what have you done? Uh, sorry, my colleague likes to joke sometimes, and he thought this would diversify the atmosphere and have you join a more friendly environment. Ha! He's so gullible, isn't he? All right, you guys are starting to act very weird. What is going on here? I got that joke and I forgive you for it, but I know the road to get there and this isn't it. And you guys are now taking it off road. That's it. Pull over. I want to call for somebody else to pick me up. You guys are done reported and fired. This is very unprofessional. Okay, listen here, lil bro. This isn't a joke anymore. And the car you got into isn't your security car, Mark. We'll have to talk something very seriously once we get at the top hey! of the dam. You heard me, idiot. He pointed a gun at me. Help, please, somebody help me. Where does he think that he's going? Too late to jump out of the car now. Get back in, Mark. You don't have where to run. This was all a setup. Right now, the best move on the board for you is to get back in the car and follow our commands. Everything will make sense once we take off our mask. You guys are some monsters. How can you do this to me? How can we do this to you? Mark, you piece of shit. Wait until you see our faces. And you'll realize that what you did to us is far worse than what we did to you. I'm keeping myself from smashing your head against the window and choking you out with my incredible strength. That's why I dragged you out of the car, idiot. It wasn't a funny joke to get your spirits up. I tried to have you get run over with the wheels of the car over your head. You took my Instagram account, you prick. So all of this over an Instagram account? Really? Tell me, do you recognize now the crime you committed against us by banning our Instagram account? Do you realize now the magnitude of the event? I hope you do. And I hope that you restore our account right now or otherwise, a bullet is going to go straight into your forehead, Mr. Zuckerberg. What else can I say other than that I'm, I'm speechless? So you three are behind this. Just because I banned your Instagram account means that I deserve to get kidnapped? You made a huge mistake. And no, I won't unban your Instagram account because I can't. The account has been deleted and it's irreversible. Sorry to tell you, but you ain't getting it back. Are you happy now? Let me go already. I don't think that the United States president wants to have my blood on his hands. You will deal with Shut great- Shut up! Oh, so you want to play it like this. Just so that I'm sure and I, I don't make a mistake. You just said that you are not going to unban our Instagram account. No problem, Mark. We're switching to Discord anyways. And trust me, the repercussions of you banning me from your platform are far greater than whatever repercussions we will get for kidnapping you. As I said, I can't do anything about it. Trump, I heard sirens. I think he somehow signaled for help to the cops and they are coming. Let's do something with him fast before the police arrive. They are here, shoot them. Ah, great. Boys, get ready to fight these fools. Jack, don't just sit there in the car. Come out and help us, bro, remember? We are a team, I paid you to help us. And you zucker, take this, you dumbass sucker. Ah! I'm sorry, Trump, but I'm comfortable sitting behind the bulletproof doors and windows of this car alongside my crew. And correction to your mistake, you paid me so I can give to you Zuckerberg who you just killed. So my involvement here is done. You didn't pay me to assist you, Joe and Barack, killing cops. Please finish them faster somehow so we can get out of here and leave. This is getting dangerous. And Joe, stop shooting us. Shut up, you bitches. Trump just throw his body 
down over the edge and let's go. We're starting to get surrounded and I don't think that we can't survive much longer if we get stuck here. There he goes. All right, Jack, our friendship is over, buddy. I'm gonna block your number for being a little girl and not helping me fight the cops when you are accomplice as well. And what are you doing, Obama? This isn't a breakdance battle, bro. Get up and let's go. I was hurt, Donald. They caught me with a bullet. And instead of you helping me, you started making fun, saying that I'm doing a breakdance battle. Wow, and you were talking about friendship. Good thing that I grabbed my bulletproof suit today. I knew something wasn't going to go too well, and we were going to somehow end up in a shootout like we almost always do. If we didn't try to convince him so much to unban us from Instagram, maybe we wouldn't be in this situation right now. You should have shot him in the head as soon as he said that he ain't going to give our account back. Dang, Donald, can you get us out of here and stop hitting all these rocks? All right, maybe going up to this dam wasn't the best idea that I've ever come up with, but it didn't cross my mind that we would get betrayed by your security crew and that we would end up in a police pursuit. Right now, all I want to be honest is an ice cream. As a matter of fact, two ice cream. Shit at how stressed I am, three won't hurt anybody. Okay, Joe, we get it. Maybe if you shut up, Trump will drive better than this and we will get out of here. Oh my, what have I got myself into? I should have listened to Michelle to stop hanging around you guys. Screw that Instagram account. It wasn't worth to kill him over that. Look now what we have to deal with. It's like we killed a world leader or something. No, bro, because not even when we tried assassinating George Bush, the police were this pissed. I think the lizard man had some deep ties with the cops, bro. This might have been deeper than expected. And what did Michelle say about us? Don't think that you can slide that under the radar, Obama. I've heard it. These cops are ready to risk their lives over nothing in this case. Why are they after us? Just look at them and how they drive. It's like they are so furious, they can't even see what's in front of them anymore. 